You know how far your school is from your home? If you gave you answer like, some kilometer or some miles, then I think you are familiar with the concept of distance. Distance means how far one object is from other object. We measure distance in different units, like kilometer, meter, feet, or miles. It just means when we tell how far things are, we just say some number with these units. For example, we can say, my school is two kilometers from my home. So two is the measurement and kilometer is the unit. These units are mostly constant for all. Means one meter is same for everyone, not like counting steps. Because an adult will have big steps than a kid. So an adult can say distance between school and home is 120 steps, and for kid it will be 200 steps. Even distance is same. So instead of those we use measurement units which are same for all, like meter or kilometer. Distance can be measured with different equipments. Then comes the next question. Do you know how long it takes you to reach your school? Again, if your answer is like, some minutes or some hour, then you must be familiar with time too. Time means how long it takes to cover a distance. Time also represented in different units, like minutes and hours. Time can be measured with the help of a watch. I have one more question for you. Have you seen a semicircular dial with a niddle and numbers on it in a car? Just in front of driver's seat? That is called a speedometer, which measures the speed of car. But what is speed? Speed is distance covered in per unit time. It tells us in one unit of time how much distance is covered. We write it like a number, followed by unit of distance. Bir, unit of time, like 60 km per hour. Let's say a car speed is 60 km per hour. What it means is that car can cover 60 km in one hour. In other words, it takes one hour to cover 60 km. To measure speed, we need to know distance and time. Let's say a car covers 80 km in two hours. We know that speed is distance covered in one unit time. So to get speed, we need to calculate how much distance is covered in one hour time. One hour is half of total time given. So if car is at its half time, then car should be at its half distance. So we get that car will cover 40 km in one hour. If total time was three hours. To get one hour, we needed to divide total time by three and same with distance two. And we get how much distance is covered in one hour. So if we put it in a formula now, we can say that speed is distance divided by time. Now we know how to calculate speed. But what about when we need to calculate distance? Let's say a car's speed is 50 km per hour, and we want to know how much distance it will cover in three hours. I think this should be simple. So speed means car moves 50 km in one hour. Then it in three hours, it will cover three times of one hour which means 50 multiplied with 3. So we get the formula for distance also, which is speed multiply with time. What if we want to know time? In case car moves at a speed of 50 km per hour and we want to know how much time it will take to reach 200 km. In that case, we already know car speed, which is 50 km in one hour. So to get time, we need to check how many 50 can fit in 200, which can be achieved by dividing 200 by 50. So we can say that formula for time is distance divided by speed. Knowing the concept of distance, time, and speed can help in predicting how far we can reach at a certain speed in what time, or how long will it take to reach some place with a certain speed, or if we want to reach a distance in a certain time, then what should be our speed? Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. Keep supporting for future videos.